from Bangladesh to Bangalore to Bakersfield. Welcome and welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans from around the world. It is your host, Galadon, and it is the exciting 33rd installment of the account that should not exist. No Clash, Clash of Clans. And yes, in today's episode, a tutorial on how not to be attacked in Clash of Clans. I have apparently cracked the code. In the meantime, we are cracking away at upgrading and yes, continuing the series because last episode we held the series hostage for likes as we often do with a last episode. But remember, each like is a penny donated towards animals in need, animal charities. And yes, while we were seeing a diminishing number of likes on recent episodes, I decided, you know what? We need 1,950 likes or this series is over. Well, that was the bad news. The good news is you guys like animals and you brought in a massive 3,500 likes. So we got there. We achieved our like goal and the series continues. Now that also means that today's episode is not a quote last episode as I make air quotes with my fingers while I say it. That's next episode. That's next episode that will happen. But also, remember, every single like is a penny towards charity. It's also unlocking a penny that I'm allowed to spend on the game. So rather than going crazy, I decided just to buy one of these packages to pick up 10 million in gold for $10. And we spent the $10, which is only a thousand likes, yo. So you got us there, okay? And we, of course, used code Galadon because uh, we always use code Galadon, don't you? <laughs> Hopefully. Anyway, so yes, we're going to buy the 10 million gold, the book of everything, the builder potion, the rest of it we're going to leave alone. And this is something that we are recurringly doing throughout the series. And what I mean is we're donating the full amount to charities, but we're not spending the full amount over here. Instead, we're spending lots of time looking at the same screen without changing things, and you may wonder why the heck Galadon is spending so much time looking at the special offers screen. And no, it's not because I'm trying to advertise code Galadon. It's because, well, there's just not a lot to do in this account, and we have to stretch things out just a little bit. Just a little bit, and I'm being honest. I'm always honest with you guys. I'm honest about the Builder Hall update. I'm honest about everything else. You're welcome to come to the live streams and ask me any question, and I will give you an honest answer. The URL is at the end of the video, by the way, if you want to stop by a Facebook live stream. But let's get to spending this gold, because, uh, yes, we've got over 12 million now, and resources are hard to come by over here on the non-attacking accounts. So we went ahead, started a couple of Archer Tower upgrades, left us with just over 7 million. We're going to work on maybe uh, a couple of cannon upgrades. No, wait, maybe we can get these Teslas going. No, wait, I don't know. Maybe we'll head on over here and work on something else. Like, well, not the heroes. I know. How about maybe over on the far right-hand side, we check out how beautiful the next level mortar would look. Look at those level 10 mortars. Those are pretty mean, but well, okay, they're pretty expensive as well. I'm looking for like two more items that I can upgrade right here. And uh, I'm thinking mortars is not the right choice because I don't have enough gold. That's also too expensive. Oh, hold on. Yes, we could do air sweepers. No, air sweepers kind of stink. I, I know. Let's go ahead and do bomb towers, right? The bomb towers are looking kind of rickety. No, not, no. Those are maxed out, Gell. That's maxed out. What is he doing? What? Some sort of disconnect here between the brain and the fingers. Yes, that's a bomb tower. Good for you, Galadon. 2.6 million. That's a bargain. Wait, wouldn't it be more of a bargain if we had the gold pass? It would. Let's think about that. That's only 4.99. Now, of course, we have some leftover elixir. We're going to get some walls upgrading. I can't wait to max out my walls. I, I, I can't decide. Y you guys tell me. Should we max out the walls at Town Hall 11 before moving on, or should we just get the walls to level 11 and then go to Town Hall 12? I just fear the red color of level 11 walls will clash with the blue color of a Town Hall 12. Uh, these are the things that keep me awake at night. Okay, speaking of being awake at night, another raid weekend passes and we picked up over 1,400 raid medals that we will likely never 
be, be, be able to use. No, that's not true. We, we get some of them spent each week. So yes, we do that. And then we did have the season end. So this is way back at the end of the April season that we're looking at right there. Now the May season begins and no Clash Clash thinks, you know what? Let's do it. You guys dropped 3,500 likes last episode. I could technically spend $35. We've spent 10 so far. Here's another five. We're using code Galadon. Let's purchase the gold pass for no Clash Clash, which of course, when you really think about it, makes almost no sense because we can earn almost no points in the gold pass for the challenges all require attacking. Um, uh, this is called buyer's remorse, if you're wondering what that phenomena is right there. Okay, let's move on and get some more upgrades going. Yes, let's take our mind off of that waste and perhaps come back to it and see if we can't actually do something that helps us out. For now, we've got 4 million elixir to spend on walls. More level 11s coming in. Almost got rid of all of the noob-looking level 10 walls. N n no offense if you have level 10 walls. I'm not saying you're a noob. And then we are going to get a cannon going. But wait, no. You know what? We've got enough for a hero. Yes, let's go Barbarian King on his way to level 38. He needs to catch up with his slightly older Archer Queen. And of course, you noticed the Grand Warden fully maxed out for Town Hall 11. Fast forward a few days and we have, yes, four of five builders free. And of course we did, if you saw that, get another upgrade done over on the builder hall side. Over at the home village, that's right. Look at the last time I was attacked. Over eight days, nearly nine days since I took a defense. And do you know? Do you know what the secret is to not getting attacked? It is LOB, log out broke. Now, this is a strategy that I've spoken of many times in the past. You don't want to put your loot up for the capture, so try to spend it all before you log out. Also, if you are at a reasonably low trophy level, it's not likely anybody's going to come by and stomp you trying to pick up trophies, especially if you have a relatively difficult base for your Town Hall level, which I think that we are getting to right now for Town Hall 11, when it's set up and it's not in the progress base format, it does appear a little bit intimidating. And that combined with the lack of loot, the reward for attacking me, means that it's just very, very rare that I see defenses at all. And that's right, it had been almost 10 days since anybody had attacked me and a couple of days before that. So let's move on in this no attacking, don't attack me accounts and see the status yeah. report as we have now risen to 1,828 trophies, an all-time high. The gems are also just about to an all-time high at 2,305. Ooh. The heroes, get this, yes, continuing the trend, they are at an all-time high for the account, uh -huh. 42, 37, and 20. Remember, Ooh. every like is a penny for charities that help support poor animals that need it. Thank you, Galifan, for sticking around all the way to the end. Prepare for the next last episode next time. But in the meantime, get out there, make the best of the rest of your day, week, month, and year. Be kind to other people, animals, and play on touch grass. And I'll see you back here again tomorrow for more full attacks. Did I did I mumble that? I apologize if I did. Gary, don't, Gary, don't stop it. You always mumble. You're practically incomprehensible. <laughs>